I'm Chris Lambert, one of the archivists here in the Essex Record Office. Our seven miles or so of shelving hold all sorts of documents right back to the early Middle Ages. If you were to wander along them, it would be quite some time before you came across records of Essex County Council, which has only been around for 125 years. The Council's records are not the most numerous, but they do hold a special place for those of us who work here. Quite surprisingly, we don't have a picture of the very first council of 1889. This photograph shows some of the councillors in 1892 um, sitting outside the Shire Hall. This was before County Hall existed and as you can see it was before women could even stand for the council. The council actually debated whether to meet in Chelmsford at all. Some members wanted to meet near Liverpool Street Station which makes some real sense when you think that Essex in those days extended right into Newham and most members probably travelled by train. There's a key to the photograph and it's interesting that there are a few officers mixed in with the councillors when you might expect them to be kept separate. And right at the top you can see the first chairman, Andrew Johnston, perched on top of the cannon. I think it's a nice informal touch. Elsewhere in the archive collections, among the records of the Spalding Company of Chelmsford, we also have a set of photographs of the construction of part of County Hall in Duke Street in the 1930s, just as you see it today. I'm Martin Astell, I'm the sound archivist here at the Essex Record Office. So I look after the Essex Sound and Video Archive, uh, which contains a range of sound recordings and videos that uh, relate to the history and the culture of, of Essex. Um, our earliest recordings are from about 1905 and we're still collecting them to the present day. We now have somewhere over 30,000 individual recordings uh, and they can uh, relate to any subject um, that relates to Essex. They include some recordings from Essex County Council itself uh, such as um, films from Essex Education Committee um, that were made from the 1940s, 1950s and, and, and so on. Uh, we also have lots of oral history recordings of people talking about their life in Essex, uh, radio broadcasts, music, uh, and so on and so forth. And all of these recordings are held here at the Essex Record Office so that people can come in and uh, listen to them and, and view them. I'm Tony King. I'm Senior Conservator at Essex Record Office. Archival documents are very sensitive to the environment in which they're stored. Um, so we get great cares to um, maintain the correct temperature and humidity conditions in our storage areas, which um, gives our documents the best possible chance of long-term survival. Poor storage is a major cause of damage to documents, um, and the conservation section repairs uh, documents that are too delicate to be handled by our researchers. The sort of documents we hold from Essex County Council tend to be more modern uh, when compared to the rest of our collection. So uh, the sort of problems they have uh, very often due to the materials that are used to make them. They tend to be made from lower quality paper uh, which came in after the Industrial Revolution uh, and as such the problems tend to be caused by the very nature of that paper. It's very acidic uh, which means it becomes brittle and discoloured very quickly. So we have to be able to treat that in order to make them strong enough to be used and also to stop that um, ongoing process of degradation. So we can do that by washing documents, by treating them with very mild alkali chemicals to combat that acidity and then we can go on to repair them using um, often high quality Japanese papers and tissues to repair any missing areas and support tears and brittle areas.